Hey guys, it's Sarah and Jamie and today we have another video for you guys. In today's video we are going to show you how to make a DIY live edge side table. So these tables normally go for hundreds of dollars but we're gonna make it for pretty cheap. So here's what you're gonna need. A wood round, legs, in this case we chose to use hairpin legs, a stain in a color of your choice, varnish, a palm sander, a drill, screws and safety glasses, cloth, paint brushes, and sandpaper. You can get your wood round either at a store, an auction, you can get a chainsaw and cut your own. In this case, we were very fortunate and my sister actually supplied us with three different wood rounds. Step one, pick which side of the wood round you want to be visible and then sand it. After you're done sanding it, make sure you wipe it down with a cloth, not a wet cloth, a dry cloth, just to get rid of all the little bits of dust. Step two, mount the legs. The reason we're doing this step first is because we're not staining underneath it. So this way it lifts up the wood round and actually makes it easier for us to stain and varnish. But if you want to stain the bottom, then don't attach the legs because then you'll get stain all over the legs. In most cases, your wood round may not be completely level and that's okay. Ours was not either. We first attached the legs, realized that it was wobbly. Now we did test this not only on our deck surface in case our deck wasn't completely level, we did bring it inside the house as well. And then Jamie just used some washers to level out that leg. If you wanted to, I guess you could try to level it out, but then you could just end up hacking the whole thing up. We didn't want to chance that. Once your legs are mounted, we stained it. The stain actually came out darker than we initially wanted, but hey, it still looks good. And then in the process, we also decided to stain the edges since the actual bark wasn't still on the tree. That's sort of a personal preference thing. If you have bark, you might not want to stain the bark. It might be hard to stain the bark, so. After you let the stain dry, you're good to varnish. In our application, we're putting it outside, so you probably want to do at least like three or four coats because you're gonna get rain and all that weathering on it. You don't really want it to be the bare wood or it's not gonna be protected. After the varnish is dry, you're done. That was it, that's pretty easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. And like this video if you liked it. We already have a bunch of other videos planned out for you guys. We know it has been like literally a year since we posted the last video. Life has been pretty crazy for us, but we have a bunch of stuff planned and we're really excited to bring you guys more content. All right, bye.